What's up guys? Welcome to the vlog. As most of you know, we picked the Terminator up from my buddy's house. It was over at Hunter's house for about eight months now. We actually had some issues with the car not running correctly. There was a couple different things going on. So this throttle body is so big that if this throttle blade moves ever so slightly, it lets so much air in that it causes idle issues. So it doesn't take but just a little bit of movement on that throttle blade to cause the car to act crazy. Well, I guess over time with it sitting there, for some reason it closed, like I said, ever so slightly, it closed. So that caused some problems. The car wouldn't really idle correctly. It would just kind of stumble up and down, up and down. So all I did was bump the idle up just a little bit. That fixed that problem. So then I take the car down the road and I go to give it throttle, gets up into the RPMs, it goes lean. Not a good thing on 25 pounds of boost, guys. E85 can only help you so much. So after that, I just kind of ease to the uh, service station, fill the car up with E85, and then the car shut off on me. So I'm standing there, you know, hood popped, car just completely died on me. And I start kind of wiggling everything around and come to find out the battery terminals were loose on the car. Now I know this car, you know, will run off the alternator. You know, I've got twin uh, 465 Walbro pumps in the back. That's a lot of, of power being drawn. After the car died, you know, of course, first thing you do is you start checking everything and the terminals were very loose. So I just kind of worked them back down snug, got somebody to jump me off, started the car up. And I was like, well, I guess I'll just see how far I can make it before it cuts off. Car made it fine. No issues whatsoever. So we are back pretty much 100% on the car. So I'm happy. I'm excited about that. I was worried that the car was going to have to go back over to Hunter for a retune. But for right now, the car is good and we're going to leave it like it is. Unless, of course, some other problem comes up, which is a possibility. I'm going to order a new pulley like I told you guys. We're going to put this car back on 93 and Hunter's going to retune it. Now, that's probably going to be a little bit of a process. We don't have a dyno. We always street tune our cars and Hunter's a busy man. So we will get to it when we can. In this vlog, I want to also give a couple of shout outs. All right, guys, we're gonna do these shout outs at the end of the video. If you'd like to stick around for that, by all means, please do. Let's go for a short ride. We'll talk about the car a little bit. I'll show you some of its street manners, kind of how it behaves, a little bit of the power. We're not gonna go crazy today because I have my stepdaughter with me. So, but I'm gonna let her video gonna kind of talk real quick about the car let you guys kind of see how it performs and whatnot we'll go from there welcome to the room of people who have rooms and people that they love one day doctor way just because we check the guns at the door doesn't mean our brains will change from hand grenades you love another psychopath sitting next to you you love another murder so i'll show you guys second gear Really don't even need six gear. Like I told you, we were going to incorporate. 
So I'm just going to kind of run through the gears uh, with you. Really no point. Try second. Third. Let's see if we can get third to hook. We are going to give some shout outs today. So first off is going to be uh, Demon Fox 5.0. Man, I love this guy's content. He's getting better by the day. I watched a video last night where he was doing some front end work on the car and you know, he's getting his camera angles right. He's really out there just busting his ass and trying to provide good content for us. So please guys go check him out. Give him a shot. You know, it's like I've talked about before. Sometimes it's just hard to get out there. Once you reach that thousand subscriber mark, you know, you start to kind of pick up a little. Give them some constructive criticism. Don't get on there and blast them. But if you've got something constructive, you can let them know. Let them know by all means. Regular Guy Garage, he works on uh, mainly Camaros, but he's had some Mustangs before. Um, so if you guys are interested in that, by all means, go check out Regular Guy Garage. This guy does some amazing work in his driveway. It's crazy. He gets his son involved in it. I mean, come on, guys. What else is better than that, right? Next on the list is 50 Tucson. Now, most of you guys, if you follow my channel, you follow him. I actually know him. Um, we don't live but about two and a half hours apart, probably, and uh, we do meet at the same track sometimes. So at some point, I'm gonna go back down there. We're gonna meet at Holt at the racetrack, probably just hang out, shoot the shit with him a little bit, and see if I can pick up some much needed knowledge from this guy, because he knows Fox Body stuff. Also, check out Stang Domination. This guy's putting in some serious work. I am very impressed with what he's been doing. He's, he painted his own Fox body. He works on them. He's had them completely stripped down, gutted. I am following the hell out of this channel because this guy is killing it right now. It, I'm telling you, he's got some serious skills. By all means, go check out Stang Domination. This is gonna kind of jump around a little bit, but this is later on, obviously, in the evening. But I wanted to give a couple more shout outs. Uh, Jay Renshaw and I've got his stuff right here, but don't worry guys, I will put up the actual pictures. Jay Renshaw messaged me uh, not too long ago and uh, asked what colors I was I painted my car and whatnot, and he was gonna paint his Fox body. So uh, we kind of talked back and forth a little bit. He started sending me some pictures of his car, of his Fox body. Now he painted his car the way that we should have painted my car. You know, we were gonna set up like a temporary booth and whatnot and do it. He did it that way. Look guys, this car is amazing. Uh, it turned out great and the coolest thing about it is his son helped him with the car but his son was completely unaware that the car was going to be his so after they get the car painted and start putting it back together uh i guess from what i understand he told his son that it was going to be his car so obviously you know he's super stoked about it and guys that is what it's all about and his son helped him and then surprised him with the car now i don't think the car is going to be his just this second but as soon as the son's able to drive going to be his fox body so i'm going to show you a couple of pictures of that maybe a little bit of the conversation but he did an excellent job so jay renshaw buddy i applaud you you did an awesome job and also want to give a shout out to robert winslow jr guys he's 15 years old he's out there he's washing cars he's detailing cars he's trying to buy his first fox body to have that type of passion at 15 years old saving every penny that you make it's all about the grind 
I don't care if it's a Fox body, if it's a Camaro. I don't, I don't care what it is. Robert contacted me and asked me if I'd give him a shout out. I love doing for people. So I'm gonna give him a shout out. This channel is about sharing things with other people, learning together. Why would I not give somebody a shout out that's out there in the world trying to be seen? If I can help you in any way, that's what I'll do. Now, obviously I can't do it for everybody. I mean, you guys understand that, but when I can, I have no problems doing that. All I can do is give you his information. And if you guys are in the area, by all means, look him up. All of his information will be down below in the description. 